Hi guys, welcome to this session in Microsoft Access. In this module, I want to show you how you can use the tab control in a form. So first of all, I'm going to create a blank form using address details, this table here. So I'm going to create form design, not a blank form actually, form design, and then into the property sheet, and then I need to attach this to the table, which is address details, that one. Then I can go to my field list so what i want on the form by itself without on it without it being on the tab control is these four so i'll click on the top one hold my shift key down just highlight those four bring them on to the to the grid i'll just make this grid a little bit bigger so you can see it better i can get the corner so just sit them up there like so now in the controls area on form design you have this feature which is a tab control I'm going to draw a rectangle so I'll just click that and then draw in a quite a large rectangle you have page five and six why it's not one and two one two three four five six that's how it does it and then if you added another page it would carry on with the numbering which is what I'm going to do actually if you right click on that you've got insert page and insert page as well now, if you want to rename these, you need to go back to properties and from the top there, it's on page five because I'm actually clicked on it. So you can name that. I'll call that main, main details. And then I want to click on page six. It's picking up page six and I'll call this address. In fact, not address. This is CV, isn't it? CV, CV and next one i'll go attachments that's missed one out page seven call that attachments and then i want to call the last page um courses because i'm going to embed a document uh, another table there so i've named them now i need to put the bits and bobs on there that i want so go back to fields so I want the address down to postcode to be on the first tab, or on this tab. And I'm not going to mess about and position them all, but the same rules apply to positioning and resizing things as before, as you'd be expecting on a form. CV, there's CV. I'll bring CV on, and I suppose I better bring these two on as well, otherwise I'll get left behind. Date checked. CV is probably going to be an attachment, so I might make that a bit bigger. These are certificates, so if I bring those on, this is just an attachment onto this field, so I'll make that a bit bigger. And when you double click on that, that'll open up the actual attachment feature. Now, courses, I want to embed another table. I want to embed this table, staff training records. So that is a subform. So what I want to do is open up this a little bit. This is a feature, subform, sub report. This will start the wizard. Now, I haven't got any at the moment, so I'll go next. I select the table that I want, which is staff training records. I need all the fields across. Follow it through. This is picking up the relationship because I've already done the relationship. I'll show that in a minute. Next, I'll leave it named as that and then finish. So now I will have to elongate this a bit, or quite a bit actually, because there's quite a lot of columns in that. So I'll just elongate this like that. And then have a quick look at this to see how this sits. So clicking on view. And then I'm going on to that one. And then you can see that this is quite a long table. So if I just bring some of these in, probably didn't need staff ID to be honest. That's okay. Now I would like this to be the first item. So at the minute when I go across these records at the bottom there, as I go to each person, if they've done any training, it will be flagged up there. And the reason that works is because in database tools, I've created that relationship with staff training records. One member of staff can do many training courses. Close that. That's why that picked that up. But if I go back into design on this for a second, I want this to be the first tab actually. So if I click on that and then right click, You've got tab order, but you've got page order. So tab order is about the order that when you press your tab key that the, the, the um, cursor jumps. 
but I want page order, page order, and then courses. So I want them to move that up to the top. So it's first, and then I'll put attachment second actually. Like so. Click OK to that. So that's moved those. So if I now go and have a look at this form, there's the courses for this person. If I click on attachments, there is a certificate there. And basically, if I double click on that, you can see the attachment sits like that, and you can have multiple attachments on that so that's done at table design level um, on this table on this table I'm not going to open that it's just a, an Excel file I'll cancel that for now so that's how you can create a or use a tab control in Microsoft Access so hopefully this little video has been of use thank you for your time I'll catch you in the next one